Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you what I got for my birthday. My birthday was last Thursday, the 21st, and I did plan on having this video up last weekend, but as you can tell from the sound of my voice, I have been sick the past week, or going on two weeks. And if you saw my Hopeland Gardens video, then you don't know that we stood in line for close to two hours to go see holiday lights and it was freezing cold and then the next day me and Casey were sick in bed coughing hacking trying to cough up a lung see which one did it first and our throats were all sore we were coughing like I said we were tired we took like two maybe three naps I woke up around 12 last Sunday and took two or three naps before going to bed that night and then during the week my kids got sick from me and Casey so my kids are feeling better but me and Casey are still coughing our lungs up so anyways I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday it was great usually my birthdays are not that great because it's so close to Christmas and that's how it's always been I always got Christmas and birthday presents together instead of separate and people think I was lucky because I got double the amount of gifts when I really didn't but I got a lot this year and that never happens but the first thing I'm going to show you is this t-shirt I'm wearing I bought it at the beginning of the month I bought it from Cafe Press it's Malark Bakery for Peter Malark in the Hunger Games I am a big Hunger Games fan, and that will bring me to my next gift that I bought myself. Um, that came last month. That's my second one. It's a Mockingjay journal, and it's lined. And I wasn't planning on using them, but I'm going. I'm going to use them. And throughout the month. Casey also bought me gifts when he had the money and the first thing he got me was this cute little bathroom set. I told him I needed a new pumice stone because the one I had was getting kind of dingy. So this is the main thing that I wanted out of this. And these will go good in our little travel bag for when we go on little trips. And a little loofah for one of the kids. And also, he came up with the idea of the rack being put on the wall next to our shelf so I can put my skincare items on this to keep it from cluttering up our bathroom counter. The next thing I bought myself is another journal. I heard about this journal on boho berry she had one i think it's a five-year memory book someone today and what's great about it is that you can it starts on january 1st and it has a page for every day of the year and it has these little spaces so you can do fill out this book for five years so I'm going to start on January 1st and write 18, 2018, and write some lines about my day. And then next year, on January 1st, 2019, I'll come to the second space and so on and so on. And that's for the whole year. So, I figured that would be good for me and Casey and our relationship so we don't miss and forget anything important like we've been, like, what's been happening. Because we are starting to forget the little thing, the little stuff that made us fall in love and stuff and I want to remember that something else that I bought myself is this perfume Miami Glow by JLo when I was a freshman in high school I used to wear this almost every day it was my mom's hey mama and when I would get to my math class, which was my second class of the day, 
I sat between these two girls and one of the girls um, would always bring Victoria's Secret Love Spell Lotion. So me and both girls would always rub it on our skin and make the whole classroom smell good. And Victoria's Secret Love Spell and this mixed together or paired together smells decadent. It is a exotic scent and you will attract attention. So if you have not tried those pa this pairing, do it. I am Glow by JLo and Victoria's Secret Love Spell Lotion. So I'm gonna open. It's got the little charm on it, and I'm gonna smell it. So. Mm -hmm. It's bringing back memories. Oh, smells good. So, Miami Glow by JLo. The next thing I'm going to show you is something from a cigarette company. If you are a freebie hunter like I am, cigarette companies and tobacco companies are a way to get great freebies. They are always doing these promos to give away free items like spice tins, uh, bottle openers, some people don't like the freebie promotions and giveaways from these companies because it does promote bad habits. My husband smokes and I hate it, but I'm not going to pass up free items that I can use in my household. So, every year for my birthday for the past two, three years, these companies have sent me something for my birthday. And they have all been useful. So, this year, I got to pick out my present from Black and Mild, and I picked out this robe. It's nice and soft and comfy and cozy, and it's all red. And it is so smooth, Ugh. and it keeps me warm, and it's been cold. So, I got two more items to show you. That was four. Two more items to show you. And these are my favorites. So, at midnight on my birthday, my husband gave me this big wooden box that he made me unscrew, undrill the screws up. Because he works in construction, he builds things. So he built me a box to put my present in. And then he wrapped it up in the plastic uh, protecting things that they use at work. And so it took me a good 30 minutes to get into this package. By how I was feeling, I was still feeling miserable from being sick. I was not impressed with him. But the effort was a good one. And the present made me excited so it was a harry potter pensive memory set and it, it's a keepsake box but inside it's a it's got the two little flask things that dumbledore keeps the memories in it comes with a pen that is, come on now, I don't want to break it, that is a wand, that is Dumbledore's wand, it's a pin, hold on, let me put this down, yowch, so, see, pin, and then, the journal, third journal of the month, y'all, I don't need this many, but they will be used. It's a pen sieve with Harry Potter on the top. And it's just lined journaling paper. And look at those end pages. Oh god, it's so pretty. And then it has 
little quotes in it from Minerva McGonagall. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who won't know his name. Minerva McGonagall, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone film. And it has it out. It has it throughout the notebook. Like, Hermione Granger. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules? Ron Weasley. Who are you and what have you done with Hermione Granger? Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix film. So, that's cute. I love this. I was so excited when I got it. That my thoughts of scratching out Casey's eyes for making me work hard and running out of breath when I couldn't catch my breath in the first place due to trying to hack up a lung went out the window and he did get me one other present it's a black mug of the Marauders map and it's the cutest thing it's a 20 ounce mug he didn't even know what the size of it and then when I told him when I read the bottom of the mug to find out the size, he was shocked. And so it's got footprints all around it. It's got footprints inside it. I would show you, but it's dirty. And I gotta wash it because I drink tea out of it. And yeah, I will insert a picture of it right now. The last thing I got on my birthday is from my mama. Last year, she got me the same thing because I asked for it, and I didn't have the money to get it, but I had the money to get it this year, but I asked my mama to get it for me this year, so I wouldn't have to spend my money on it, so I can buy my other stuff. So, But it is the Bath & Body Works Black Friday tote that they had as a promo that they had on Black Friday after Thanksgiving, and... The thing, the items inside are the Champagne Toast Mug. It smells different from the one last year. And I'm not liking this lid. I'm not a fan of the glitter. But, yeah. It doesn't smell as citrusy as last year's. So... Let's read the notes because last year it was my favorite because it is the citrus. So, pink champagne, fresh nectarine, and winter black currant. And this retailed for $26.50, but it came with the tote, so it was $35. I think I think that's where my mama got it. I'm, I'm not sure. But the other things that came were this Aromatherapy Recharge Sage and Mint Body Cream. It smells good. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of mint, but Sage and Mint mixed together, it tones down the mint quite a bit. And then also Recharge Sage and Mint body wash and foam bath a heart of gold berry sweet hand cream and winter candy apple it does smells very like it's been sitting for a good long while like I'm not a big fan of winter candy apple winter candy apple hand sanitizer the hand sanitizer last year really got on my nerves because they put glitter in the hand sanitizer and glitter was all over my hands and this one doesn't have glitter this year so this one's fine I can keep this one but it's messy look that was it for my birthday what I got for my birthday I 
enjoy watching these videos and I'm no way bragging. You know, some people say it's bragging. It's not. I enjoy watching other people's what they got for their birthday. And so if I want to look for some of their items that they got, I can go and look for them. And yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Talk to me down in the comments. I will talk back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video, which will be what I got for Christmas. Bye.